my own community. I've had a couple of beers, so I'm going to do a, a, recent, a recent finds video just for you guys. I'm going to start off with some singles. This is GBH with Give Me Fire. Anybody who watches my videos currently will know that I like Japanese pressings. And here's one for you. It's 10cc. And I'll tell you what, there's only one thing better than a Japanese pressing. And that's a white label. Japanese pressing. Brilliant. This is another Japanese pressing, I think. No, it's not. I lied. UK pressing. Moody Blues. And this is on fantastic blue vinyl. That's great. Uh, I have got another one here somewhere, yeah. This is Cinderella. And there's a bit of a theme coming up with Cinderella. That's uh, Heartbreak Station. That's my 7 inch singles. I haven't gone mad on 7 inch singles recently. Um, got some 12 inch singles here. This one's a bit special. Again, this is Cinderella. But look at that. That's snakeskin vinyl. Obviously, comes in a sleeve. And it comes in this. Which is fold out sleeve which is ginormous look at that there uh, put that up there that's ace uh, I'll leave that there for now okay this is another Cinderella this is another standard pressing of uh, shelter me And that's in uh, fantastic condition. I'm just going to have a quick swig. This is a little bit special. This is another copy of Heartbreak Station on a shaped picture disc. I'm going to get it out so you can see it. This is mint, absolutely mint. It was sold as mint, looks perfect. Played it, sounds perfect. I love it when that happens. Right, yet another copy of Heartbreak Station, but this is on the bog standard, um, you know, just normal issue, black vinyl, nothing special about that. This is the Cult, Wild Hearted Son. So that's a bit, a bit good. Uh, this is um, We Will Remember You by Saxon. I'm a big Saxon fan. I'll be talking about them a bit later. It's another Cinderella. You don't know what you got till it's gone. When I was a kid, a lot of my mates liked a lot of the music that I did as well, but they also liked a band called Dogs de More, and I couldn't get my head around it. Didn't, just didn't, didn't like him. Uh, didn't buy anything by him until a couple of weeks ago, where I picked up a couple of uh, 12 inch singles. This is Back on the Juice. And this is Satellite Kid. And I got these from a guy on, on um, Discogs, I bought five or six, I think.
I got this off him as well. This is a um, Peter Gabriel single. This is Delirious. No, it's not. It's Rough Boy. Delirious on the B side by ZZ Top. I've got a real fascination with 12 inch singles. I just love them. Value for money wise, they're often, I mean, they're often more expensive than the actual albums. They come off depending on how rare they are. But I just love them. This is Vow Wow, and I got him for free. A guy sent me this for free. I bought four or five records off him. That was nice. Okay, on to the albums now. This is Look Here by 10cc. This is a um, Japanese pressing in absolutely mint condition. And I got this from EIL.com in their April sale. Anybody from the UK will probably know all about EIL. Uh, normally quite expensive, but 75% off. Bargain, and I got some of the singles from those guys as well. I love Judas Priest, you all know that. I got this from the US. It's obviously a reissue. Um, the UK pressing was about the same price, but I found a guy on eBay selling this from the US with free postage, and I don't know how he does it. How do you send something free? America. Uh, obviously not free, it's incorporated into the price, but 13 quid I paid for this. Well, you can't send anything to America for much less than that. Um, it's it's slight, it's ever so slightly different to the UK pressing. Um, I just thought it'd be nice. Uh, this is one of my favourite priests albums. This is Sin After Sin. Again, this is um, this is a reissue. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken. It's on coloured green vinyl, which is nice. Again, anybody who watches my stuff uh, will know that I'm into um, compilation albums and this is Heavy Metal Monster Festival and this I found this album when I bought an album bought another album off a guy on Discogs uh, and I just thought well I'll see what else he's got and when I saw this at a fantastic price I thought I've got to get it I think it's just a phenomenal cover it ain't the best compilation album I've got by any means but it's worth it for the cover some great bands on it Cinderella, Deep Purple, Accept, Magnum, TNT, Sabbath, Kiss, um, but some shit as well. Massive fan of UFO, which sort of reminds me, I'm playing uh, Headstones at the moment. <clears throat> this is UFO's latest offering. Seven Deadly. This is a double album, double gatefold album, and I'm pleased to report that it's 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 a really really good album. It's one of one of those times where you think you know you you got this band and you love them and you've loved them all your life, and but the longer they go on, you think oh are they gonna are they gonna, are they gonna start bringing out rubbish and you know suckers like me are just gonna buy it for the sake of it. Well, this is great.
but I bought it anyway. I'm too embarrassed to tell you who it is. Howard James. This album I had never seen before in my life. I like Atomic Roots, I got quite a bit by them. Never seen this album. And it was eight quid. And I bought it again from my local record, my second hand record store in the centre town. And the first thing I did, and I bet we all do this, is I went home, I looked on eBay to see if it had got if it was on eBay, and it was, somebody was selling it for £43. Uh, but it was only one copy, 43 quid, and nobody else had sold one. Um, they hadn't sold it, so you know, it was meaningless the fact that it was 43 quid. But it's obviously reasonably rare. Uh, so I was really pleased with that. For eight for eight quid. He says as he bangs it on the corner of the fucking desk. Twat. Crocus. A bit scared of that sleeve, innit? This is a band that I've never heard of. And I bought it from a seller that I'd already bought a record from. Um, no extra postage for a couple of quid had to be done. I've played it and I love it, so I'll be looking for some more of that. Got one for you, LJ. Sealed copy. Fiverr, including postage, sealed copy of Duran Duran's Rio. Well, not only that, mate, but look at that. There's a CD in there as well. I haven't opened it yet. But how cool is that? Well, I do like Duran Duran, as you know. This is a bit special um, and goes for a lot of money. This is Accepts Stalingrad. Um, big, big fan of Accept. First band I ever saw live, mentioned a few times. Um, Love it. A uh, couple of priest reissues here. This is Killing Machine. I've never owned this on vinyl. And this one is Rock and Roller. This is except, I'll take it out of the cover. I'll put it in the cover because again it's black and you get, you get fingerprints on this and it just shows up forever. This is the best of except. Absolutely phenomenal condition. The cover, honest to God, looks like it was made yesterday. Which is why it went straight into a sleeve. Um, I mentioned about Saxon earlier. Um, again, this is Eagle Ends Landed, it's black sleeve, near mint condition, and I bought this because my copy, which I've owned for years, is shot to bits. Um, and it's fantastic to find a near mint original. And again, I got this in the 75% off EIL so. Jim and the Missus, blame you for this one. Hang on a minute, because the record's finished. Where was I? Yeah, Jim and the Missus, blame you guys for this one. This is Rock and Rolling Stones. Because after I did my Show Your Stones video for you guys, I started having a look around at what I haven't got. Because obviously I've only got about 80 at the moment. And I found this, and it's in mint condition, and it's just gorgeous. I normally like to finish my videos with a bang. Tonight I'm going to finish with a splat or similar. This is Mountains Twin Peaks, which is a phenomenal live album 
honest to God, if you don't own this, I really recommend you at least listen to it, if not buy it. It is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. It's in mint condition. And it's let me show you the the label here. It's just brilliant. And I saw this on eBay. It was a fiver start price with four quid postage. And I bid on it and nobody else did, so I got it for nine quid. And I was absolutely delighted. But it is the splat. Bang wallop. The bloke who sold it isn't obviously isn't a seller like or has not sold records in the past, probably like you and I have. And he sort of built a record mailer to to, to put it in out of you know bits of cardboard and that. And he taped it for England. You know, God's truth, nobody had gone out of there in a million years. So what I did is I very carefully got a pair of scissors and just scored the edge of the parcel. And I was making very little progress, but eventually I started making a little bit of a mark. I eventually got through it, and when I fetched the first record out, I saw that on the sleeve. And I thought, ah, it doesn't matter. It's uh, it's only a it's only a white in a sleeve, you know, man. I ain't bothered about that. And then I took the record out, and I don't know whether you can see it actually. Yeah, you can just catch it there. Look, yeah, that's what I did with the scissors. And I just thought, you fucking knob. And I know it's only nine quid, but I felt sick to be honest. I just thought, what are the chances of finding another mint copy of this? Certainly for that price. If that wasn't bad enough, it's on the record. Well, it was. It's side two. I think yeah, it's side two, which is part one. It's part one. Part one of Nantucky Sleigh Ride. Um, and side three is it. It ain't, you know, it ain't the end of the world. You play it a few millimetres in and you miss the introduction, but it ain't the same. It just ain't the same. So I was absolutely gutted. If I'd have been pissed, I could have understood it, but I wasn't. Um, so I put the parcel down, feeling a little bit pissed off, and uh, when I put it down, I noticed that the guy had put a little note on the bottom that say that says, "Do not open with scissors," and he obviously knew that he'd packed it with the vinyl so close to the edge. Don't help me though. So I'm now looking for another one. I don't want the record. The other record's mint. The the gatefold sleeves mint. Anyway, that's it, guys. I've got some more coming next week.